and Gordon Greenwich 103. But West Indies owed their success more to the wonderful fast bowling of Malcolm Marshall, who took six for 32 and four for 60. It gave him a 10 wicket haul and West Indies their sixth win in eight matches at Lords. Oh, it must be. It's got to be uh, one of the plummest things ever, unless he got a touch on it. Well, that's done it. First one way and then the other. And Graham Gooch nearly dropped his bat, but, um, well, what a strike from Malcolm Marshall in the West Indies. huge appeal and he's gone lamb doesn't tend to get very far forward pushing in front of his leg and possibly round it disappointed there but another great strike for West Indies and for Malcolm Marshall probably was more on pace it certainly didn't bounce high, but uh, Paul Dowd was certainly a little late in coming down on that. And that's beautifully bowled. That is very, very clever bowling. Desmond Haynes is the man at mid-on. Marshall put the man over the offside and bowled a slower ball. Jarvis was drawn into the drive. That's very, very thoughtful stuff from the West Indian fast bowler. Brilliant effort from Malcolm Marshall. Graham Dilly, as he stumps, spread all over the place. Yes, that's out. Great strike for Marshall. Gooch not all that far forward. And really a great assorted over, which has made the initial breakthrough. Oh, that's out. Everybody highly delighted. Marshall, well, gracious me. If only he'd keep running and go to the dressing room, I think. Both England openers now in his bag. And OBW. Well, Downton was beaten for pace there. Richards has got it. England haven't beaten Australia at Lord since 1934. And in 1989,